Episode 128, Common Sense is Anything But Common. You're listening to the very best podcast in the world on health, wealth, and happiness. Please remember to leave a review and share with all your friends and family. And here is your host, Lars Hilsa. It's hump day, folks. Wakes up, everybody. Wake up, everybody. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> welcome to the very best podcast in the world, your only source in the universe for personal supremacy through health, wealth, and happiness. Now, I promised you yesterday that I'm going to start bugging you every day. It's not about you and uh, whether this episode may be uh, helpful only to you. It can only be that it can also be that it's helpful for a friend, for a relative or someone that you uh, that you work with, someone that you know frequent, uh, uh, frequently, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, anyhow, you know what I mean. <laughs> someone that you met on your life's journey that might benefit from this episode. And uh, so I think, you know, we'll make it your obligation to share it with them uh, in order to excel them, in order to help them. Because we had that in yesterday's episode, you know, where it was about, uh, you know, you can put other people down or you can uplift them, right? And uplifting them just makes you a fucking better person, period, right? So it's in, uh, it's, it's in your best interest to grow as well, you know, to share this episode with someone or any other episode for that sense, uh, in that sense. <laughs> uh, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure uh, to do so because, um, you know, we've been running for quite a few months now with, uh, with an exponential increase in, uh, in listeners. And, uh, I hope that, yeah, we kind of fulfill the mission, um, of this podcast, which is just, you know, getting a better, becoming a better personality, uh, through health, wealth, and happiness. Because if you've uh, kind of taken those things out of your out of your struggle, essentially, of your daily struggle. Um, you know, if you don't have to think about it, if those are essential parts, essential pillars of your life, life becomes much easier. So in that sense, you know, subscribe and make sure to share this, uh, this podcast far and wide. Now, today we're going to talk about common sense and that it is anything but common. Um, it's about, you know, uh, attempting or thinking that people think like you do, right? And uh, there's a multitude of reasons why that's not the case or why that may not be the case. You know, you have some people that you tick with, right? That you're in sync, that know what you want, what you need before you actually do. And... The same is true vice versa, of course, right? But um, anything is but the case, right? Most people think very differently than you do. And uh, ideas that you have don't necessarily have to be bad just because no one has thought of them yet, right? Let me give you an example. When I set out to create my first company, I was put down by the German typical, are you sure you want to do this destructive entrepreneurial mindset? And I was like, yeah, you know, my ideas are good. They're better than what's out there at the moment. And so I'm going to get into it. You know, and things happened. I was way ahead of my time. And uh, so it was very difficult to sell what I was actually you know, trying to pitch to people, but it made sense, you know? And so, um, even that didn't keep me from founding another company then going into consulting, you know, and, uh, beside all that time with a background in finance, keeping an eye on that, because obviously if you've gone into something and invested time into something, you kind of stick with it, you know, even if it's just on the sidelines, right? It's, still kind of like your, your baby, 
that you're that you were uh, kind of keeping in the family. Let's put it that way. And I've come across tons of people where I thought they ticked alike, right? They were like me, but still, you know, it was about putting a bridge between them, a bridge of communication, right? Still, you know, you, if you explain to someone from a certain self understanding that the mayonnaise is in the fridge, right? If you've got a big fridge, someone's going to take a long time to find it. And if you're impatient, you're going to be pissed at that person for not finding the mayonnaise. You know where it is in your huge fridge because you put it there. But how is that person supposed to know? Now, you could argue common sense. It's in the fridge, therefore it must be found. And it's going to be this epic discussion that's going to take part in every relationship between a man and a woman, simply because science has proven that, that women have a better sight or a better understanding of what's close in front of them as opposed to men who have a bigger perspective of things that are further away. It's nothing condescending. Uh, it's just, it's been scientifically proven. I think the historical context was because, you know, women needed to be closer to the bushes to pick the berries than the guys who needed to throw a, a javelin or whatever spear at an animal that was, you know, a hundred meters away. So, um, Going back to the common sense discussion, which is thrown around much too frequently because common sense is, as the title says, anything but common, right? If you assume that somebody knows something and they don't, it's because you failed at communicating to them what it actually is that you wanted to convey. It's a thing of communication. No matter how like-minded you think you are to the person you're communicating with, there is going to be a gap. There's going to be a gap in social upbringing. There's going to be a gap in perhaps religion. There's a different understanding, for instance, of social status. Uh, there's even because of this whole fucking racism thing going on, a difference between different races. It's not because, you know, one race is dumber than the other. It's because, you know, a certain race, what the race was kept dumb through ghettoization, through, you know, being put into their place. You know, I mentioned a few episodes, the caste system, which still exists in the 21st century in India. And there are people, you know, who are, uh, for instance, the untouchables that nobody wants to have anything to do with, you know, no, that's not the Chicago untouchables. Those are the guy, the, the poor souls in India who have no perspective because they were born into a certain caste, right? And, uh, you know, yeah, you can deny it all you want, but it's there because, you know, I've been personally confronted with it. That being said, you know, these different upbringings, these different types of socialization, these different types of perhaps financial background will inevitably lead to the person across from you being different in their thinking than you are, or than you may be. Let's put it that way. Even if we take this into a more microcosm, perspective, right? You don't know how your next door neighbor's kid was raised. You don't know that, you know, were they, or someone you met at school, you don't know how loving their parents were, you know, to them. You don't know how much they, uh, they really loved their kids and which perspectives and which chances they gave them, right? My parents for instance, gave everything so that I could, you know, become what I wanted to become. I, you know, kind of was the person to 
take a step back and say, okay, I don't need this. I don't need that in my life right now. Uh, because, you know, we weren't wealthy. My family doesn't come from money, right? So you kind of set back your your perspectives of life, not because you can't achieve them, because in the first instance of your life, you need your family's support, right? However, meeting other people along the way, you know, it was like in my... Uh, in my um, vocational training, there was one guy who came from money. He had totally different perspectives just by the connections his father, who was also in finance, had. He didn't write bad grades in school. And, you know, he wasn't the brightest star in the sky, this guy. Uh, you know, it was just that the teachers didn't dare give him bad grades. So they overlooked certain errors. You know, this guy cheated on tests. Uh, and was never caught, you know, because the teachers would turn a blind eye. So, you know, going back, though, to the common sense debate, and this is where it gets interesting, um, you cannot assume ever that somebody's going to think like you, right? So the best way you can gap this or you can seal this gap, you can build a bridge over this gap, is the bridge of communication. Communicating clearly and unmistakably what you expect of someone, right? You clearly communicate that your feelings were hurt. You clearly communicate that you are at the end of your power right now. And if somebody takes offense in that, then you weren't capable of explaining to them the consequences, right? For me, um, I've probably mentioned this countless times on this podcast. You know, whenever I get tired, I get edgy. Not only do I get edgy, my productivity just immediately drops and I get dissatisfied because mistakes are made, which are avoidable by just taking half an hour's uh, half an hour of sleep right? And it's that simple. So conveying to someone that, hey, I'm going to bed now because whatever, you know, it's going to be like, what? You know, we're in the middle of a workday here. However, if I communicate to them that I'm going to take half an hour, uh, a half an hour nap, because otherwise I will get cranky. You know, I will, my productivity decreases and it's better for me to come back in half an hour and be at 110% again, rather than trying to kind of, you know, get through the day on 75%. Just doesn't make fucking sense. And everybody's going to agree, right? So that's, you know, just one example of billions where the only thing you can do to bridge the gap is the bridge of applying and building the bridge of communication. So it's about teaching yourself to communicate efficiently, directly, and clearly. And I think that's kind of like the point of today's episode. And by that, you can create common sense by communicating clearly. And then common sense actually becomes common because both parties or all parties of the discussion are elevated by your communication bridge to the same level. In that sense, send this episode to someone that is perhaps not the ideal communicator to listen and to reflect. And make sure to subscribe to this podcast and have a successful day. And if you've already had your successful day, have a good night and stay healthy and wealthy and happy. <laughs> and uh, until tomorrow, at least, when we're going to be back discussing delegation versus do it yourself in that sense happy rest of your hump day wednesday and we'll be back tomorrow